Well, could you imagine all those kids going to school? You know, it'd be, hi, bro, hi, sis, how are you? And then it'd be, hi, auntie, no, that's my brother. And it'd be like, no, that's my cousin. And it'd be like, what? Huh? And everyone would be like... That's my uncle's cousin's brother thing. Yeah. He's my family. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sounds like something you'd hear in the deep south. <laughs> yeah. but I <laughs> wonder if there are any relation to the, to the Tennessee guy. I don't know, but it's a little disturbing. I mean, I don't know whether that's just because we're all straight-laced and only children. So the thought of 49 brothers and sisters is a little scary. No, I think that's just pretty scary no matter <laughs> no matter what. Could you imagine Christmas dinner? Oh, God. You'd have to, like, rent out a community center. Well, unless he's, like, really, really poor, and you'd think that you would be after 50 kids. Then you just go down to the local homeless shelter and pretend that you don't have a home. I don't know. There's a lot of hand-me-downs to go through, so maybe they'd look like they're homeless. What I want to know is, does this guy actually take care of his kids? I'm or... guessing not. Apparently not. I just, and that just makes it whole. That just makes it really sad. Well, you got to think about it. I mean, I don't know my own children's name. I mean, fifty names. I'm flat out remembering the days of the week, let alone kids' names. That's why I only have one. <laughs> and and you sometimes know. you just forget her. Exactly. You know, not like the time that we walked out of the house and left her in her baby carrier. <laughs> Locked the house up and there's something missing. Oh, shit, we forgot the kid. Um, <laughs> and that was last week. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was when she was newborn. But, <clears throat> yeah. But could you imagine that he'd be going like, hey, you. No, 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 you with the red hair. Freckles, come here. <laughs> you with the face. No, not you. The other one. No, not you. No, Shut the, up, you. I don't ugly, like you. The ugly one with the six fingers. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> but what would you do? Would you all have to go and get like the same tattoo on your butt or something? Because if you have that many brothers and sisters and you all eventually move out into the world, there's probably a guarantee one of you is going to run into the other one eventually. Yes. And you just have to hope that you run into them in a different way. Yes, preferably not meeting too close in the hallway and then, you know, a baby happens. Yeah, that could be just a little bit more weird and more awkward. Which yes. Which is kind of a little impossible. As we have learned from the British monarchy, genetics are supposed to expand. Yes. Don't worry about the thinning bloodlines. Just worry about Prince Charles's ears happening again. <laughs> you know, we don't need Dumbo. We need a monarchy. Yes, and that ugly yellow dress. Which one? There's like 50 of them. <laughs> and they have matching Good. hats. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let's hope that the British monarchy is also not a listener. Oh, well, if they do, they Although, just any have of a them. laugh. Any of them. <laughs> Hi, Mary. No, that's the Dutch one. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, guess what? We're just about finished, what? but we're going to play a song before we go, and it's a long one, so we're like running about 20 minutes over by the time the song's finished. So, yeah, I hope you've all had an interesting week, and you sort of enjoyed the show, even though we've like ranted and ranted and ranted and ranted. <laughs> that's okay. That's People okay. love us. Well, we hope they do. They this keep... might be part seven of the YouTube clip. I'm probably thinking so. Okay, so let's wrap this up and we'll play a Voltaire song. Yay! Thanks to Jackie. And we'll have our last celebration of Talk Like a Pirate Day that's now like a week late. But anyway. <laughs> we'll see you all next week for week 30. Woohoo! Woo! Bye, everyone! Bye! Gather weary travelers, I have a tale to tell It might just save your lives, but only if you listen well Cause they're before the breakers, and just around the way There's a sign that says beware, the beast of Pirate's Bay Sailors, now he's bigger than a tree. His teeth are sharp as 
scissors His claws, they are like knives And if you think he's ugly Wait till you see his insides Oh, don't you sail and don't you row And certainly don't you swim Cause if you aren't careful You'll end up inside of him He'll eat you up, he'll spit you out You better stay away Heed the sign that says Beware the beast of Pirate's Bay Now do wells Some they don't believe it As for me I've got a hunch Cause they used to have some pirates here But he ate them all for lunch Don't you sail and don't you row And certainly don't you swim Cause if you aren't careful You'll end up inside of him He'll eat you up or spit you out You better stay away Heed the sign that says Beware the beast of Pirate's Bay Had nearly got away He reached into the water To grab at Peter Pan There was a crunch And a scream And now that scurvy captain's got Hooks on both his hands Oh, don't you sail and don't you roll And certainly don't you swim Cause if you aren't careful You'll end up inside of him He'll eat you up, he'll spit you out You better stay away sign that says beware the beast of Pirate's Bay. Well, Blackbeard the pirate, you know for what he's feared. It's mostly for the dark and posing color of his beard. He saw the beast and now nobody's scared of him because his beard turned white and all agree he looks like Santa Claus. Stay away Heed the sign that says Beware the beast of Pirate's Bay Well now the tavern's empty And there's only you and me And if you care I'd like to share How this song came to be So come a little closer If you really want to know Very sad and woeful tale happened so long ago Well, I was just a little boy when I went to Pirate's Bay And there I saw a creature that was very much dismayed With a harpoon in his dorsal fin and a hook stuck in his side This mighty whale was in such pain We both began to cry I pushed and I shoved But he wouldn't give way Into the deeper waters Of our shallow pirate's bay All I could do to help him Was to keep people away So I rode the side That said, beware, the beast of Pirate's Bay. What did it say? Don't you sail and don't you row and certainly don't you swim. Cause if you aren't careful, you'll end up inside of him. He'll eat you up, he'll spit you out, you better stay away. Heed the sign that says, beware, hell I should know I put it there. Heed the sign that says, beware, the beast of Pirate's Bay. In the Friday Catch Up, powered by the Paraquest Radio Network. Remember to catch the Hostess with No Ghostess every Friday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Paraquest Radio Network.